Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for all the support, the likes, comments, views, subscribes. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is going to be a reading from the 22nd to the 30th, but time is fluid, so when you come across this is probably when it is meant for you. So there is no way this can connect to every single person out there, so be aware of that. I read the cards, you decide how they apply to you and if they do. So take what you can use and just leave what doesn't make sense or connect to you. And I also like to say your intuition when I pull the card, because all the oracle cards will go here for you. The tarot cards over here will be the people around you. But you could show up on the other side as well. So your intuition when I pull a card of who it applies to is probably your best choice. So I'm going to have a giveaway at 5,000 subscribers, so when I get to about 4,500, I'll have directions on how to enter that drawing. It has to be a, you choose a deck of cards of mine that you like, and whoever wins the drawing will get a deck sent to them. So here we go. The first one for you, Sagittarius, is 49, be insightful and established. Ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. So I do feel like you may be starting something new. I don't know if it's a new love, a new job, um, if there's some new structure involved in the family, new living arrangements or something of that sort. I do feel like, yeah, something is starting new and it's going to be good for everybody. It's going to bring abundance. And the next one is the gift of neutrality, 34. So balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposite and reside side by side but create the gift of neutrality. So this talks about being able to balance your emotions, being able to balance your energy where you don't sink to the bottom and get depressed, where you don't float to the top and get um, narcissistic, basically. So I do feel like there's a lot going on right now. I feel like it's a new beginning to something. Something new is starting in your life. And it's kind of helping you be balanced. So the Chakra Wisdom deck is Queen of Coins. So Queen of Coins is somebody offering stability, somebody who's very grounded, stable in the coins. And then you have the Moon. So the Moon is Pisces placement. This to me is yin and yang, which you have it here and you had it come out here. So something is going to come out to the known, something's going to come out to the open. I feel um, something that wasn't known concerning money, it almost seems like. So the next one is Eight of Wands. So there's some kind of communication. Somebody wants to reach out. And then Six of Coins. So again, there's some sort of coins being given to you. Well, I'm faded from the universe or receiving. So I always tell the viewers that if the universe feels you are deserving of coins, please accept the coins. If somebody feels you are deserving of coins, please accept the coins. It's deserving of you and a lot of people are deserving and they feel too proud or their ego and they won't accept and it's, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. It's coming to you for a reason. So the next one is Six of Swords. So there's something you're moving away from a situation concerning money. There's something that you had to move away from was very negative. And then Princess of Wands. So Princess of Wands talks about somebody younger than you. I feel somebody protected. This is where there was some sort of secret involved. I'm really going to get, and I'm trying not to get a little yucky right here, but I'm almost feeling like... Somebody oversteps some boundaries with a younger person. And then the chariot. So the chariot is communication. There's some sort of communication wanting to travel. The next one is nine of coins. So look at you have receiving and then you have stability with coins. So somehow your future is becoming stable with coins, Sagittarius. So there's some sort of stability with coins. And maybe this is coming from some female that is younger than you or some female that was protected that you had moved away from, you haven't communicated with or ghosted with in a long while. And then you have justice again. Look at this balance. You had balance there. There's a lot of yin and yang and balance in this reading, Sagittarius. I do not know... I feel, bleh, feel free to leave me messages and tell me what you feel is balancing in your life because something is 
balancing out right and wrong in your life. Strong. Eight of Cups. Somebody's getting bad karma. Somebody around you who hurt you or brought trauma in your life is getting karma. And then we have spying. So some sort of spying. Somebody spying on somebody. Looking at somebody's social media. And then Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is somebody having childhood hurts. Traumas from the past that they still carry in this life. And still carry in this day that hurt them. That they reflect on and allow to cause negativity and hurt into the life. But it happened so many years ago. So then you have Ace of Sea. So there's true love being offered or in your life somewhere. And then denial. So some sort of denial around um, bad karma. So I don't know if somebody's in denial they're not getting bad karma. I feel like it's going to be in a love situation. And then Sky Kitten. So Sky Kitten is immaturity, annoying, somebody watching somebody, and then Five of Fire. So Five of Fire talks about conflict, people not getting along, bickering, drama, Fire King. So the person who is offering love has very high pride and ego. They could be of Leo um, sign. And then we have Grace. So Grace talks about don't be in denial of holding yourself to a high standard, talking kind to yourself. Next one is Earth Kitten. So we have Earth Kitten and Guy Kitten. Is that what that is? So there's a lot of young energy there. I feel like a lot of immaturity, a lot of newness. And then Cat Magic. So Cat Magic talks about somebody manifesting what they want to bring to them, somebody having faith, um, praying, somebody knowing how to manifest what they want to bring to them. So I do feel like there's a lot of immaturity, um, but somebody is learning how to manifest is what I feel. So then you have Earth Tom. So Earth Tom is the universe sending a helper into you. They're sending somebody or something in to make your life easier. Fire Queen. So Fire Queen is an angry female. So there's some female around you that is very angry. And then Two of Fire. So Two of Fire is making a decision, I feel. When you turn around, you're going to make a decision concerning um, the angry female and your life shifting into a different place. And then you have Eight of Sky. So Eight of Sky is somebody feeling trapped. Somebody feeling like they are... Trapped in a situation they can't get out of. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of Eve for you now. So wow, some angry energy around you. A lot of, somebody's getting karma. So the next one is four, Bunny Hop Jive. So four tells me that somebody could be pairing up with you in your life. It always makes me think of somebody needing a dance partner. And so somebody is getting ready to pair up with somebody is what I feel. And then I have got an Owie 29. So 29 talks about light overpowering the dark. So something that hurt before is getting ready to get something happy to like put a band-aid over it, so to speak. So the Earth Wisdom, you have responsibility number 10. So responsibility talks about you want everybody to take responsibility for their actions and not lie and be honest in a situation. And then new beginnings. There's just new beginnings. Like somebody's coming out of a forest where they were lost and wandering for years and they're going to be clear and make better decisions now. I feel like they have directions to go and they kind of feel like a little more grounded with and then 17 clarity so there's some sort of clarity with this change or something's going to make sense where it's going to be like wow now I understand why this happened that's so crazy if this wouldn't happen this wouldn't happen you know what I mean where something is totally going to um, go to sink and make sense for you all right so now I'm switching to the angels and ancestors and the first one for you is water guardian connect with your emotions. So this to me is somebody in heaven who watches out for you. This usually is a sister card for me. This is somebody telling you that they're trying to connect with your third eye, like they're trying to make your intuition and your emotions connect together. They're trying to give you clarity on something. 
And then the next one is sage, be devoted and committed. So this talks about being devoted and committed to yourself, writing the pros and cons of choices you want to make in your life or things you may want to do or things that make you happy, things that make you feel grounded, make you inspired. So just asking you to take note and be aware of where you want to go and what you want to do, a more clear idea of what you really want and what would make you happy. So I hope this helps. Thank you so much. Bless you, Sagittarius.